हेलो 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 एवरी वन वेलकम वेलकम टू द स्ट्रीम let me just set this up yeah i think i'm audible yeah should be audible perfect so guys today we shall be solving uh tactics so that's what we planned uh today is the 1st of may and it's time to boost up your chess to uh start practicing chess seriously so i thought being the first day of the month we shall first begin with uh solving tactics for example um so uh, this is just a blitz game that is going on between some top players but give me a second i just wanted to check my profile um oops that is not yet there for some reason uh i don't know why it does not show actually anyway uh give me a second Oh, my profile uh for some reason my streaming profile is not there and i don't know why i'll have to check that out later all right anyway 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 so what we shall begin with first is solving uh puzzles so i shall begin with some puzzle rush that's what i was thinking i begin with some puzzle rush also and uh one second yeah begin with some puzzle rush and i think we uh, will be good to go that's what we shall be beginning with first oh uh, let's go to puzzles we'll go to puzzle racer puzzle racer i think you call it puzzle racer over here so let me just um do this we'll join a public race but we'll have to make the board smaller so everything is visible i think this should be good enough and uh for the stream i think this is decent we'll just wait for uh some more players to join unless i have some internet issue because usually you get players right okay we've got three players for now board is a bit big for me i'll have to make that even smaller but all right uh just a free piece right wait i get that wrong or right i have no idea i have no idea honestly no idea if i got them right or wrong this one is tricky i don't i cannot get the solution right away so i'm just going to um 
All right, 50 is a bit less, right? 50 is less, but it's all right. I think it's, it's, it's fine. We'll have a look. We'll go forward. Let's go again. We'll try in again. And after this, we will be continuing with solving puzzles like uh, we usually do. I also have to make the board smaller, but it's all right. Because I think I adjusted the board to the wrong size and I always make the same error. Always. Oh, we're under a check. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm under a check. My bad. We just capture actually. Okay. I think they should win us the game, but uh, let's go. All right, I think this was the answer to catch one. Hi Atul, welcome. Welcome to the stream and uh, welcome to being one of my only viewer right now. Um, just one second. So we've got two viewers and um, five likes which is a good thing we're going to go again i think we'll make this a slightly smaller which will be a bit more comfortable for me i just hope it's fine on the stream looks fine on the stream Oh, that's not possible. We just take the piece. Three piece, I think, is good enough to capture. Usually king here works, but I think we can also go there. Honestly, no idea, but uh, this should work. I think I'm really slow even this time for some reason. All right. Cannot help it. Okay, we'll change the color of the board for a second and again we'll go forward. Mm, it's a bit too bright for me. Uh, okay, brown then brown. Okay, we'll try it out again because the scores are really bad. Let's go again.
Let's go again. Win a piece. Win a piece again. Win an exchange. Um, think we can just win the piece. Probably come back and win the piece. Um. Oh, that was wrong. All right. What are we gonna do? I think we just win the pawn end game probably. Oh, this was way better. This is way better than the previous ones. So this is this is decent. This is way better. Let's find more audible. Okay, um, alright, so now we shall be going and solving puzzles. I think we stopped, uh, not regular puzzles. We were on a puzzle streak and we'll make the board bigger. Um, puzzle streak. Oh, wait, we'll have to begin from the start, which is a good thing. In that case, we can begin from the beginning. So the puzzles will be easier. So now I'm just going to explain move by move and we can go forward to solving the puzzles. If you guys get the solution, please, please, please post them in the uh, comment section. So that would be helpful. So we know you know that you have got the right answer and I'll be just keep I'll just keep going forward. I'll try to I'll try to solve them a bit slowly so that if anybody is here, you can put your answers in the chat too. So going forward we see a king and queen right here we just go 92 we have a fork and we can win the queen so that's what we do let's go to the next this is a pawn end game we'll have this pass pawn so we have to just push the pawn and after king and two this is a pass pawn which uh black cannot stop so that's what we are going to do going to the next puzzle over here we see that these are on one diagonal and uh, we get the bishop there and we have the queen once again now this is a checkmate in two moves again. So rook at seven, king at seven, queen h five. We are going to do that. The bishop controls the square. So that is uh, the solution. Going forward, we see that this is pinned over here. We see that this bishop is well placed, but there's nothing happening at the king. We also see the bishop on the uh, queen's diagonal. And we are in exchange down right now, but we can play this move rook g3, edge g3, and then we can capture the queen. The point is we will have a bishop and queen for the two rooks. The rook cannot capture because the queen is spinning this rook. So that should be the solution. Let's go to the next. Uh, we see these on one rank. So all we've got to do is play rook c7 and we will be winning the queen. Next position. We see this king and uh, bishop there. We can just get the queen out and we win a piece after that. Yeah, we don't want to capture this because that's not what we want. We need to win material by capturing the bishop. Going to the next, we have a check on the board and we also have a threat of knight c2. So we have to try to gain a tempo so we can play this move c6. And then when this is played, we have knight c2 and capture the rook. Oh wait, there's, yeah, capture the rook, capture the rook. Because c7, we always have queen d7. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? Okay, I thought c7 was winning, to be honest. And I went way too fast. I saw bishop d7, I saw c6. And I got this one wrong. My bad, my bad. We'll have to restart. Oh, queen a4. I missed, I forgot about queen a4, that the queen can go back. Completely forgot. Completely forgot. We'll have to go for a new streak now. We'll go for a new streak. So we just capture the rook and I play knight e2 and queen. Let's begin. Knight e2 and then we queen. Let's go to the next pawn in game. We just capture this and we shall be winning. Go to the next. Um, now we're going to go a bit more slowly because we don't want to blunder like we did earlier. So knight d7, we win the rook. We'll be in exchange up. 
go to the next. Uh, there is some checkmate threat here, but we have queen e3. And after king h4, we have queen f4. Mm, question is, what after that? So queen e3, king h4, queen f4. For g4, we have queen h2, of course. That's a mate. So queen e3, king h4, queen f4. There's king h3, though. King h3, what is the checkmate idea? What is the checkmate idea for that? What is the checkmate idea? I know they probably will not ask us, but... Or we just play uh, queen f5, I think. Maybe we just play queen f5. And then... Um, that does not make sense, does it? Or we go queen e3. Queen e3, I guess. But queen e3 is g3. No, that's not possible. What's the whole solution to this? Unless I'm going blind. Guys, if you have a solution, please post it in the comment section. This is actually an easy one. I don't know what I'm missing out on. Queen f4. I don't see an immediate checkmate. I was thinking of queen f5 because then g4, queen f3. And I thought I'll have a mate, but I don't know where I am going wrong. Question is, what do I do? Okay, I have... I don't know if I'm missing out a mate. I'm not, right? Exactly, like, what's the idea for king h3 though? I think we have to just, let me switch off the engine. Uh, what do we do for king h3? I think there are no checks. I was trying to figure out for king h3, we have some checks, but there's not, nothing's really working. That would be just a perpetual. Oh wait, this is protected. I think I can go h5. And even if you sacrifice, this pass pawn is queening. All right, so that 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 should be the uh, solution to this. That should be the solution to this. All right, let's go forward. Uh, let's go to the next puzzle. Okay, this one is simple. I think it's a winning pawn in game. We'll have four pawns versus three pawns here. We go knight c5, bc5, and king d5, and that's winning for us. Next position, queen f2 seems natural. First of all, we can get the pawn. Uh, we can get the pawn in two ways though. We can also play uh, rook f2 because if queen check, we can come back, rook f8, check, and win the game. But we'll have a look at queen f2 first because it's very natural to go queen f2. And um, for king h1, there is. Uh, it's very natural to go queen f2, but rook f2 is also should be winning that's that's let me think and play i don't want to blunder queen f2 because here we always have bishop e5 and that's winning so queen f2 king h1 i was thinking still bishop e5 actually that should also work because there's 93 coming next Rook f2 also looks strong. Actually, knight f no rook f2. I was thinking that oh rook f2, uh, rook f2 is probably not working. Rook f2 is not working. I think just queen e4. Probably just knight f2 in that case. I think I missed queen e4. I thought we have rook e2 check there, but I forgot this queen into this queen into queen. Then that's not winning for us. My bad. I think it's simply knight f2 then in that case. Knight f2 could be the solution or queen f2. Uh, 
Ja. All right, going back to the puzzle. Should not be that tough. It could just be queen f2, to be honest. Probably knight f2 uh, is not immediately winning. I think I'll just go queen f2. Yeah, I'll just go queen f2. Knight f2, I felt like there's rook e7 and some counter play. So, of course, queen f2, king h1. And I will see knight g3 or bishop e5. But bishop e5, I think knight e4 falls. So, I think we just go knight g3 over here. I should be winning. Or any other option is what I'm trying to have a look at. Yeah, that's it. I just want to check the whole continuation. I was thinking, okay, okay, both of these moves win. Yeah, I was thinking of bishop e5. Both the moves win. Okay, then it says queen f3, then it says knight f1. Okay, that is uh, pretty simple, of course. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, there's a pin on the board. We cannot capture. So I think we just go queen c6 and then we capture the free piece. That should be it. Free piece, let's go to the next. We're still on seven though. These seem to be tougher than chess.com for sure. Hi, Mayuresh, how are you doing? You can post your answers in the chat. Every puzzle, I'll go a bit slowly. You can post your answers in the chat so then we can solve them together. Also hit the like button if you have not as yet. Okay, so uh, king into pawn seems to be the most natural move here. Although it's opposite colored bishops, uh, this pawn is queening. So the opposite colored bishops does not really make a difference. Does not make any difference actually. Because that's a pass pawn. So I think we just go for it. And we start pushing the pawn. Let's go to the next. All right, our queen is attacked, but our queen is also protected. So what I see over here is we can take on a4. And when you take our queen, I take your queen. And uh, we are up a piece because even if you capture the bishop, the knight captures. So I think it's simply winning the piece, taking the piece. That should be winning. Next position. Okay, this is a checkmate in two. So we'll just go with rook into h7, king h7 and queen, h5, and we have a mate. We've done 10. Let's go forward. This is a two-move tactic, tactic again. We have this on the same diagonal, so rook into rook into, and then we have bishop d3. Check and pick up the rook. Uh, does black have anything else to do? Not really. So we can just do that. Pick up the rook. We're up a piece. This one is uh, actually simple. It feels like you want to capture this, but then we're down in material. We don't want that. We just go bishop c5. We have uh, king and queen on the same diagonal. And I think important is 97 check. We have to, we have to, I don't think it matters where we go. We have to just move the king and we are good to go. Let's go to the next. All right, so we have the king here. We have some threats on the board. Our king seems to be really weak. Um, but what can we do is the question. Ah, the rook is overloaded over here. So what we can do is we can capture, oops, we can capture rook into f3. And for rook into f3, we capture this. And for rook f3, rook check. Again, if you give a check, I'll get to c3. Again, you give a check. Hmm. I'll get to d3. Again, you give a check. I'll get to e3 and the point is this square is protected right that square is protected and there will be uh, no more checks after that let's go all right let's go to the next all right so the point is do you want to capture a6 or f2 i think that is the only question i think we'll definitely go for f2 because it's a check 
and then we get rook c2 bishop attacked and a checkmate idea we win a we are definitely winning after that we win the bishop if not the mate and uh yeah i think that is winning with the material advantage let's go we win the queen as leeches gives us going forward um this seems natural because we just pick up the bishop but let's just think so rook b3 forced yeah i think that is it then we are up a piece in that position and that's it let's go to the next okay this seems like some checkmate should happen over here question is how so first of all if i play rook c8 check this king there and we have queen uh, c7 that would be a mate but now the question is for rook c8 there is rook f8 for that we have queen e6 and again when the king moves we can capture because the queen is blocked by the pawn so that should be the solution queen b8 also looks attractive because that's still a mate but for queen b8 there is rook f8 and uh, black is defending it so we have to first play rook c8 queen e6 and then we win this going to the next position this seems like a back rank weakness actually but i think we're just going to win material what's the material right now we are down a piece question is we can just go knight h1 you capture i capture yeah that should be enough we may exchange up after that i think knight h1 knight f2 should be the solution hmm <clears throat> right should be it next puzzle this seems like uh just winning a piece we have these on the same diagonal knight f6 ef6 bishop f5 we win the piece so i think we're just gonna go for that we have reached 18 okay this again seems like um checkmate so rook c5 the king has nowhere to go Rook e5 we just capture, rook f5 we just capture. Okay. Next, this is the 20th puzzle. Now 19 are done. Right? This is the 19th one or 20th one? This is the 19th one, I guess. This is the 19th one. So guys, you can post your uh, answers in the chat because if I know that you guys are in the chat, then I will go slowly. Since you guys, since we are not too many of us, I'm just uh, going fast at the beginning because uh, the puzzles are pretty easy at the start. So I'm just, uh, I'm just going a bit uh, fast right now. All right. Let's go forward. Um, e6, the rook is attacked. We would love to give a check, but no, that's not working. What do we do now? Our rook is attacked. But we can trap the queen with rook at seven. You capture, we capture. That is a queen trap. Let's go forward. We've done 20. Oh, this is a 20th one. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, this is a 20th one. All right, this again seems to be a queen trap. The queen seems to be very vulnerable right there. I think we can just go g4. And uh, you capture, we capture, basically. That should be a queen trap. We're off to the next one. Okay, this one is deflection, basically. The knight is defending the rook, so we will force play knight e5. And after knight e5, we go rook d2. Because if we play rook d2 first, there will be knight e2, and we don't want that. So what we do is we play knight e5 first. Give a check. Wow. And here we can just win the free uh, knight. Let's go forward. The queen is defending the rook. The rook is attacking our queen. So what do we do here? Uh, we can actually deflect the rook, I believe, with rook e8. And uh, rook into e8. Then we go knight g5. Let's go to the next. Hmm. 
this seems natural to go up there and give a check uh, is there a perpetual though after that after that we win this rook queen g4 uh, king there again queen f4 there seems to be a perpetual ah we have king h3 i think we have king h3 because now when you go queen f5 you go king h4 i think we escaped that that could be the solution it should be the solution actually i don't see any other checks or anything possible of course we just uh, capture it for free we don't want to get checkmated we'll go to the next one knight h5 um Knight h5. What do we do? Queen is attacked. We can win a free piece over here. Hmm, that will be the solution. There's rook f5. We have queen e6, queen e6, knight e6. That should be it. Let's go. Perfect. 25. All right. Um. This should look up we should be looking out for some sacrifice over here and i think we should look for this 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 and pick up the rook will be up a piece i think that is what we shall be going for oh wait we don't need to pick up the rook if the king goes there we have queen g2 that would be a mate we we'll pick up with a check so i think that is it is there any mate not really they're just trying to trick us there's no mate so we just pick up the rook perfect <laughs> queen f2 is an idea and i think we just uh, get rid of it we just play rook f3 and queen d5 that's it next position <sighs> king h8 um queen c3 bishop b2 looks very attractive to me but we'll have to give it a thought I think that is like the only idea that comes to my mind. Queen c3, king moves, we have bishop b2. We save the bishop as well as we have some checkmate ideas. Also, the black queen seems to be uh, very badly placed. Perfect. All right, there's some weakness here. I think queen f5 and pick up the rook seems like we can be an exchange up hmm seems like it i think we shall be going for that next position hmm this was very attractive but unfortunately this queen e8 and then we get checkmated we can't do that but we have this bishop that is uh, hanging. I think we can play queen g5 and we have a double attack. We have a fork and we can pick up the bishop on the very next move. So we shall be doing that. 30 done. Um, seems like we can pick up the free piece uh, and we can come back. I think that is it. We All we have to do is come back because if we do not come back, then we get back rank checkmated so this is compulsory going to the next we can pick up this with a check there's a checkmate idea here which we have to be really careful about so we pick up uh, that with a check let's say this king g7 and there is a checkmate idea we can just play uh, bishop f1 actually i think our king is uh, uh, very safe after that we don't need to worry Let's do that. Let's go bishop f1. And our uh, this is very well defended. Okay, let's go to the next one. 32 are done. That's good practice. Okay. So there's a check on the board. It's obvious we have to capture, right? 
and then we have to get our king back so let's say we play rook e4 there's rook e4 king e4 a4 king d3 uh, a3 king c2 and that is there now the question is after rook e4 rook e4 king e4 king c4 okay so we don't need to worry about king c4 is it um i think we have king e3 I have king e3 because for king c3 there's d5 and then we give a check and pick up the queen so after king e4 king c4 king e3 a4 um king d2 a3 there's king c2 so king b3 let us say but we always have king c1 and we're stopping and then we queen the pawn that should be it Going to this was a, a, a slightly tricky one though. This is a slightly tricky one here. After e4, we need uh, the correct continuation. Let's go forward. All right, next position. Uh, bishop c5 seems like knight a4 didn't pick this up but i don't know so let's think um that should be it that should be it pick up the piece for free next position this seems like oh i didn't see the check otherwise rook eight would be the solution there is a check on the board i think we just capture capture capturing is kind of forced but what after that Capture, capture, 95, I think. And then we pick up d3. That's winning for us. Yes, it is. Next position, we reach 35. Okay, this king seems to be very weak. We have a g and h. Um, rooks over here. This rook is pinned though, so that is a bit problematic. But I don't think it matters too much because rook is actually not allowing the king to move anywhere. Now rook into h3 would be a checkmate but we have this rook here. So what do we do? What do we do? Ah, I think we can just go rook g5 if that can be the solution with an idea of rook g1 checkmate. That can be the solution. I think so it should be because our rook e1 is forced and then we go rook g3 with rook h3 as an idea. And that cannot be stopped. Or actually we can go rook g2 with rook h2 as an idea. Yes, rook g2 with rook h2 I think cannot be stopped. Hi Anishka, hi, welcome to the stream. You can definitely post your answers in the chat. So we're solving puzzles today. As you see, we are on 35 actually. I think we here we are on 35 and um, let's see this is puzzle uh, streak on leeches so we'll have to see how much we can solve but I think this should be the solution uh, rook g5 rook g2 rook h2 I think it should be that should be it let me know if you agree with my solution let me know in the chat in the meantime I, I don't have water I'll just fill my water bottle and I'll get back. You can post your solution in the chat in the meantime.
Hmm. I think I'll go with the solution. Oh, wow. Queen there. I think we go with the same answer because here we think we're going to win the queen. We're not really winning the queen. It'll be an exchange down at the end. So we go rook g2 and rook h2. I think that should be the solution here. Should be rook g2 and uh, rook h2. Let's go. Yeah. Perfect. Let's go to the 36th puzzle. So we are down a piece, but we have a very nice pass pawn over here. Question is, how do we queen the pawn? I think this is uh, should be simple. We have to move the rook somewhere and then go with the pawn push. It's obvious we have to play rook b2 over here because after a2, we want to go rook b1 and have this protected. Should be rook b2. Should be rook b2. And let's say the rook goes there. We have a2 and we have rook b1 next. There's absolutely nothing the knight can do here, the pawn can do here, so we don't need to worry. Yes, Anishka, you're right. It is rook b2 perfect, perfect answer. And you got it right. Let's go to the next one. So, yeah. Let me know what your answer is. I'll wait for you to post something in the chat regarding this one. And again, if uh, you have just joined in, please do uh, like the stream. That would be very helpful so that we can reach more and more people. Also, you can always call anybody to the stream to uh, join us here in the chat. That would be really help, really nice to have more and more people. All right. This isn't too tough either. If I give you a hint, a clue, the point is this queen is defending the rook. You would love to capture the rook, but the queen is defending. So what can you do to deflect the queen? And so you can win the rook. But you'll have to calculate two moves though in this uh, particular variation. You'll require to calculate two moves in this position to get the answer correct. Perfect. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yes, the answer is uh, right. B5. B5 is the answer. But for queen B3, you have to just play the right move. You have to just find C4 and you realize that it is winning for you after that. And that should be the solution. So let's go B5. And well, rook into, you don't want to capture this. No, no, no. You want to go for the free queen and you go for the queen. Next position. Queen e6, so white is having threats of all this kind of stuff, but I don't think we need to worry. We have three very strong pieces. I mean, the rook is not yet strong, but it's going to help us win the game. So you can uh, post uh, your answers in the chat. I'll be waiting. I think this is about how many moves is it? Four, five moves, the solution, whole answer will be four, five moves. But once you get the first move, then the other moves are kind of forced and it's easy to get. I'll wait for you guys to put in the answer. I think by the time I'll be back in a second.
क्वीन एफ टू डैनियल ओ अनिश्का अनिश्का क्वीन एफ टू राइट यू नीड समथिंग फोस्ट बिकॉज वाइट इज ऑल्सो थ्रेटनिंग टू काइंड ऑफ चेक मेट यू हेयर विद द थ्री वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग पीसेज सो यू नीड समथिंग फोस्ट एंड दिस इज अ फोर मूव आंसर एक्चुअली think of a forced continuation when you play queen f2 white has a lots of options white has knight at 6 white has knight g5 it seems like you're getting checkmated to knight d8 there are lots of options that uh white has queen f2 will not be working you need a forced answer so always in any position try to calculate the checks and captures first so that's what you should be going for and once you See if any checks and captures are working. If they're not working, then you go for moves like queen f two. But otherwise, always consider checks and captures first. That should be the first thing to consider. Anyway, I think uh, I'll give you another another few seconds to figure this one out. Forty-eight. These are definitely, um, I think, slightly tougher than Chess. dot com, strength-wise, but still they're easy. They're easier than earlier. Earlier it was much. Uh, no, 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 no. Queen c eight would be bad. That's very passive, Anishka. What happens? You're also blocking the rook's part to defend the king. Also, there's always a double check. You know, there's always a double check. Bishop c8 would be bad. Rook f8 is too defensive. No, these are too defensive. Try to be more aggressive. Okay, I'll tell you the solution. It is bishop into g2, and uh, it is bishop into g2, right? Yeah, it should be bishop into g2. In my opinion, I thought it was bishop into g2. Let me just recalculate it. Yeah, because let's just say rook into g2, then we have rook b8. And for rook b, uh, sorry, rook b one. For rook g one, we have rook g one, king g one, queen f two, and queen f one. Now, after this, there is king g two though, but king g two should not be working, in my opinion. So uh, the point is, we just have uh, rook b two, and then we have this checkmate. Yeah, correct. I was just doubting myself for a second there, but yeah, that should be the answer. Yes, exactly, Anishka. That's right. Let's go. Perfect. Reach the thirty ninth puzzle. So here we see that our king is very safe, while the white king is very weak. And this is probably something we should take advantage of. Also, the rook is undefended. Something to note down. But the white pawn is very strong and is almost queening. So what do we do? What do we do? Is a question here. Uh, we have to obviously go for the white king. That is what we will be going for. Question is how. How 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 how? Hmm. I think mean, if you get the uh, solution, Anishka, you can post it in the chat. To how are you going to save yourself from this mess? It's not too difficult. You have to again consider all forced moves, and you will ah uh, find the answer. Forced moves always. I'll give you a minute to figure this one out.
<laughs> you wanted clue i the clue was uh, forced moves forced moves now the pawn is queening we can't really stop the pawn from queening just like that so you have to make use of your uh, queen and rook together and uh, harass the white king so that is what the clue is how much bigger a clue can i give you a forced move so you have to look at checks and captures there are no captures in this position there is one or two but they don't make sense so um you have to look for checks you look for the forced continuations you will find the answer queen g5 would be a mistake here because there is queen g5 rook g5 and let's say the king moves and uh, i know your idea is rook a5 but then there's rook b7 and uh black is not really winning this you're not winning this game so queen g5 would be a mistake you don't want to trade queens in this position the white king is weak when your opponent's king is weak you want to keep as many pieces on the board you don't want to trade queens especially queens so over here what are you going to do instead of queen g5 you can consider rook g5 so that is the uh, uh move you should be considering you consider queen g5 which is good but along with that you got to consider rook g5 so we'll go rook g5 because i believe that's the answer now they gave it very easy to us comparatively of course this pawn is queening and all we got to do is stop the pawn from queening so here we are just we can just go queen a5 for rook b7 we have queen a6 and there's a double attack so we can go queen a5 let me just see if i'm not making a mistake anyway i'm not and that's a solution now uh, let me show you what would happen otherwise let me put leeches uh, the engine on so it'll be easy for you so we don't make any errors actually i know it but i'm just saying here i saw queen c4 here i saw exactly here both these moves are winning rook e1 and rook e5 rook e5 and here there's just a checkmate that's the point of it so this is basically the checkmate that i saw and i also saw that this is also winning so i didn't expect them to play this a uh, line actually because i saw rook g1 was also winning and it's strange though you allow the opponent to queen and this is still winning in this position because you can checkmate your opponent question is how uh i i i i i calculated till here i did not see the i saw these queens are very far away and i saw rook b1 and this is winning even if they are uh, queen basically question is how now i have i did not calculate further than this this i'll have to calculate um rook b2 and let's say king there and that's just a mate king here we have check and mate so rook b2 a king has to go to e3 ah and rook e2 mate correct that's what the queen and rook usually should checkmate with the queen's very far away so i didn't even calculate further but this should also this is also checkmating let me check with leeches uh let's see queen perfect yeah this is this is the answer exactly so we have done 40 now let's go further ha <sighs> bishop a5 uh we are down a piece but we have a very strong pawn queen and rook and there's something we should do about the black king it seems like it there's something on the black king our king also seems open but there is no immediate check or anything that's possible so i don't think we need to worry too much now black played this move bishop a5 i think threatening to capture with the bishop probably what do we do now if i'm going to consider the forced moves i have to consider pawn into i have to consider queen a8 and b7 they seem like the forced moves in this uh position queen a8 actually seems natural because what happens for queen a8 is i can just play rook d1 and pick up this rook next actually maybe not with actually maybe even with this piece then i can run with the king there if required now i'm not calculated but that's just on intuition so queen a8 was the first move that comes to my mind yeah probably it is simply queen a8 because b7 i think this king b8 and i think uh black is 
kind of defending. You don't want that. Should be queen a8. I'll go queen a8. Anishka also says queen a8. We'll go queen a8. And here I think rook d1 is important. And that's it. We have rook d1. And we have the solution. Let's go to the next one. Queen f8. Hmm. We have two rooks for the queen. But our pieces are really, really active. While the black pieces are really passive as you can see. So now I think we just take advantage of the fact that our pieces are very active. And what do we do here? It seems like we can just capture this. Unless we have something better. Seems like we can capture rook into a7. There are like different moves that seem winning to me. Knight f5 also looks winning to me. Oh wait, this, uh, this coming here. I missed this. There is a pass pawn for black. I think that's the only good piece for black at the moment. That is a pass pawn. So my two options are rook a7 and knight f5. The first two moves that came to mind. Knight f5 came to mind first actually. And then I thought about rook a7. So anyway, let's think about how to continue this. Because the point is, if you play rook into a7, there is c2 and then there's a queen and um, I think then we are in problems because we'll have to stop the queening and then our, our knight falls. So that should be bad. So I think we just play knight f5, play simple chess. And for c2, we can uh, play rook c5 and uh, slowly win the game. Even if bishop h8 is played, I think we just capture c2, we capture c6, we go back to c7. And that is positionally winning for white. That is positionally winning for white. And that is what we shall be doing. That is what we shall be doing. I think I'll go knight f5. Seems very... Oh crap. I forgot about rook e8. I forgot about rook e8. Yeah. I've completely missed rook e8. <laughs> How could I miss rook e8? It was so simple. The king and queen in one line. I was fi finding ways to win it. But what's the problem with knight f5? I still have to figure out. I think that looks winning too. Oh god. Rook e8 was so simple. I completely missed that there in one line. Making lots of mistakes today. All right. Mm. Um, let me just see what happens for knight f5. The rook is obvious. Oh wait, knight f5 also says it's winning. Okay. Um, c2. Here. Oh, queen d8. I did not consider queen d8. So black has a chance to draw this. That's the point of it. Black has a chance to draw this. All right, the queen comes to the rescue. Then uh, there'll be a perpetual check on the board. Makes sense. Now that makes sense. Made a blunder. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, so guys, um, let's just see this. Okay, I think we shall be ending right now. I think we've kind of, uh, we have, um, we have lost the streak. I really thought we could go on and on at least to 60 today, but I kind of made a mistake in a hurry. I didn't even evaluate this position. That's why evaluation of a position is very important. I didn't evaluate the position. I immediately thought of moves. Rook eight was so simple, and that is why this is at 42, though this 41, though this seems very simple when you look at it. But the thinking process matters. So, knight f5 was what came to my mind. So, I think we shall be <laughs> ending over here for today. And yeah, today I think this is a good tactics training. I really needed it today. I really needed these uh, to solve these tactics today, it was uh, very much required. And um, yeah, I think we'll see you guys again in the next stream. And uh, hopefully we shall be getting some guests in one of our next stream. 
and in the meantime if you have not hit the like button hit the like button guys and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next stream bye